this is Kate Belden. Uh, this is my first take on uh, audio transcribing the Charlie Chaplin in the Lion's Cage section from the circus. Um, thanks so much. Here it goes. Charlie Chaplin in a vest comes running around the corner. A little mustache. Oh, he's being chased by a donkey and into a lion's cage. Uh, it's a half train car lion cage. We can see in through bars. The lion's asleep, fortunately for Charlie, on the floor. Um, he's trying the door to get out. Reaching out through the bar to get to the door on the outside. He can't, and in fact, causes it to latch. The lion's still asleep. He's now stuck in the lion cage. He's waving a handkerchief to get someone's attention. No luck. Very quietly, carefully stepping towards the other end of the car. Oh, halfway through there's a little half gate that opens onto the other side where there's a tiger instead of a lion. The tiger being awake nearly bites Charlie. He's now safe on the other side with the sleeping lion. Knocks over a tray full of water. It does not hit the ground, fortunately. He eyes the lion. There's a tiny little dog that approaches the outside of the train cage. Is barking. Charlie plugs his ears. The dog continues barking. Charlie begs the dog to stop barking. The dog instead leaps at the lion cage and at Charlie. Barking, Charlie tries to step through the cage to step on the dog. The dog instead bites at his trim. Uh, a woman steps up and speaks to him. He needs help. He asks for help. Instead, she faints. The tray of water that he knocked over. He's trying to take the remnants and splash her awake. The lion yawns. His eyes are open. Oh! Oh, the lion is now moving and awake. Charlie drops the tray, goes to the door. The lion approaches Charlie, is sniffing at Charlie. Seems mostly uninterested, goes to the other end of the car. Charlie's clutching the door. The lion sits and lays down. Charlie looks to the camera, touches his body to make sure he's still alive, breathes a sigh of relief. The lion rolls over. Charlie gets very comfortable, holding on to the side of the train cage. The woman uh, wakes up on the ground. She speaks with him. He's calm, relaxed. Oh, cool. I'm fine. Uh, she opens the door. They speak. He's, uh, I'm supposed to be here. I'm fine, it seems. Um, he goes up to the lion. Approaches the lion, the lion roars, Charlie runs out very, very quickly, and across the yard. The woman follows him, can't find him. Oh, finds him up a flagpole. Um, she speaks with him. He tries to talk to her. He does some very impressive uh, clinging to the pole and gesticulating with his hands while his legs hold on. He floats down the pole, um, lands on the ground, and bows to the woman. Thank you so much. Have a good night.